Alright, in this quick tutorial I'm going to cover uh, color coordinating your patches and your traces. Uh, in order to do so, I uh, made a couple of traces. You can see them right here in the center. I also have already created my mesh and my patches. I'm going to shut off the uh, shut off the points from the 3D point cloud. And as you can see that we have all green for the uh, planes and just purple for the traces so we're going to change the colors on those. In order to do so go to StereoNet. Uh, if your StereoNet doesn't look like mine basically I have my uh, poles to where they are proportional to the size of area they are. In order to do that go to StereoNet properties patch display down here select the check mark you want to size the function of area um, change the minimum to zero, maximum I put ten, and then I auto scale from there. I push OK. So you can see all the green are the uh, patches, and here are the traces, the three traces that I put in. Where were we? Okay. I'm gonna deselect my stereo net, and I want to be able to select the uh, poles, and yeah, just the poles. So say for instance, I'm just going to select this large group right here, and I want to color coordinate those. Click in the middle, drag outwards, that way they're selected. Go to Window, Effects, uh, the Region window. We're going to go up here to Colors, and down here you see Set All Selected Items to this color. Click there, change the color you want. I'll go with red. Uh, let's turn the points on so that we can get a visual here. I selected poles with a big variance, so they're not exactly all near to a strike and dip. This purpose is just to show you how to color coordinate. So next we'll go back to StereoNet. We'll separate this group. We'll go here. All right, I think I'll call it good on that. So now you can see our patches are multiple colors. Very easy to uh, uh, disassociate one from the other. And the importance of this is for measuring the uh, displacement between patches. So if I turn off the poles, say for instance this aqua, aqua blue color, if I wanted to measure the distance between them, it's a lot easier when only this set is all blue. So you just go in parallel to them, go up here to your measurement tool, and you can easily measure the distance between them. I could do that for each one. And that is how you color coordinate. You can do the same for your traces. You would just go to the stereo net and you're going to select your traces. I'll leave them purple for this circumstance, but one thing that is nice is you could also change the marker style in your stereo net properties. So if I wanted to say change the uh, patches, I could change them to another symbol, maybe like a diamond. Oh, they're all diamonds. In the stereo properties, I could also 
change the traces say a triangle upside down triangle press ok now the triangles this is a this is another handy tool to disassociate one from the other and it's a very visually appeasing so that everything doesn't just mesh right in together so that's about that I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something